guys, Risqué here, and welcome back to The Evil Within 2. Um, so last we left off, we are about to head to the North Safe House and try to get in back into the Marrow. Which I'm like, of course, now that there are all these new monsters out here, of course I have to go all the way back to where I was. Because why wouldn't I? You know, it just wouldn't be right if I wasn't going back and forth. I mean, that is a part of survival horror I'm still cool with, is backtracking. I don't mind it. Some people do, I don't. Okay. How far away are we, are we though? I don't feel like dealing with all this. Oop. Oh, shit. Shit. That's what I just said. Okay. And I keep forgetting the fucking buttons. Good god. Um, oh, right. You need to fucking back up, bitch. I am so serious right now. Fuck you, ho. Clearing a path. I am getting trophies out the wazoo, and I am here for it. gonna hide here. Nobody can see me. Absolutely nobody. I am invisible to the whole world. You know what? We're gonna head this away. Have I been in that garage? If I did, I did a shitty job of picking stuff up. I'll tell you that right now. Sweet. Wait, what's in here? There's gotta be something in here. Oh, that's a dick move. Why would you put that there and then not put anything in it? That's just rude. What? Something sees me. That doesn't sound like anything I want. Shit, where? Okay. I killed you in one shot, right? Okay, good. Okay, so where is that? Where's that sound coming from? Wait, how far away? Oh, it's like really close. Oh, it must be in this house. Okay, hold on, I'm coming. Wait, is that the girl that we, we rescued earlier? No, I'm not. That's kind of sad if it is. Oh, dear God. Okay. Um, hopefully you're the only one around. Cause I would, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Cause I would just really like to take care of you easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> yeah, how the hell am I going to escape? Because th this is too much. I won't be able to handle this many. And I'm like, I would, I would like to, like, sneak kill some of you. If I could just get, draw y'all away. Okay. Whoop. Shit. Okay. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Oh, nice. I love when they kill their own. It's so satisfying. You wanna try me, bitch? You wanna go there? I mean, I guess so, since fucking... Francis can't land a shot to save his life. God bless. Do you have an axe for me? I saw an axe. Okay, yes you did. Good deal. 
<sighs> well, I'm probably too late to save whoever these poor fucks are. Which means they're not going to need any of this shit. If all that's in here is a bottle, I am going to riot. I mean, I could stand to heal myself, so let's go ahead and do that. And then take another one of these. Sweet. Okay. I will not riot. Um, was that the the sound? No. I think the call is coming from inside the house. Oh, it's probably just this. Gotcha. Noted. Woman's Journal. The final entry of this diary, penned in an unsteady hand. There's something in this house with me. I can't see it, but I sense its presence. I don't think I want to see it. I can hear those horrible things outside. They're everywhere. I'm afraid to go out there, but I'm afraid to stay in here, too. I'm shivering, but it's not from fear. Why did it get so cold all of a sudden? Hmm. It's freezing. It is freezing. I don't dig this. I don't dig this at all, actually. Okay, and the sound, the, the frequency is gone, so... Okay. Oh. Oh, it's freezing in the entire house now. Huh? Yeah, sure. I gotta get out of here. Let's run into the bedroom with no means of escape. Instead of, oh, I don't know, the front door that was right fucking there. This is giving me very much the Evil Within 1 vibes. I'm just gonna follow her because surely she's not just gonna randomly turn around and know that I'm behind her surely there's gotta be some way to get out of here oh or maybe she is okay I have no idea where to go. No idea. Not a goddamn clue. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Um, maybe, let's try to go this way. This looks like an exit. I need a key card. Fuck. Oh, fuck my face. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Um. Wait. Okay, I think she might have lost interest. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. So where the hell is that key card gonna be? Hmm. Like, I would like a heads up. Oh. Oh, dear God. Okay, 
Maybe the key card's in here. And that's why she was in here. So, I mean, there's clearly something going on there. I'm surprised I can't interact with that. Oh. There we go. This might get me out of here. Sealed hospital ward key card. Security card will open the locked door of the sealed hospital ward. It seems familiar somehow. Gee, I wonder, wonder why. Man, Francis, your memory is fucked. That therapist that you saw did you absolutely no favors. Oh god. Okay. Okay, but where are you heading, though? Which direction? Okay. Okay. I think we might be safe. I think possibly. Another slide, photographic slide, a relic from a pre-phone camera era. These are found mostly in people's attics and estate sales. I think I remember reading that when I first got the slides. Okay, well, it inspires me to go look and see what that is. Um, I want out of here. I don't ever want to come back to this house again. But I'm glad we did for the experience. Okay, just get me to the goddamn safe house. And no other frequencies, good deal. Whew, these side missions are kicking my ass, though. I do actually, so far anyway, I do like these side missions, though, because they actually, like, really add to the narrative and the plot. And I like that. Not all games do that when they include side missions. Cough. Ma, uh... Silent Hill Downpour. I almost said Mafia 3. I don't care for a lot of the side quests in that one, but that's just because whenever you finish said side quest, they add, like, like two more things to do. And I'm just like, I, I finished this. Why are you still giving me side missions? Okay. This is it, right? The pit stop? Oh, no. God damn it. Why did I not set my stupid waypoint? I don't even think I've been to the safe house, or have I? I don't think I have. It doesn't look familiar. Damn. Francis has a badonka donk. I couldn't help but look, I'm sorry. Francis is hot, I'm just gonna say it. I didn't really, like, I knew he was attractive. In the original- oh! Okay. Okay. Um. I really need y'all to die, like, now. Okay. Sure. Why didn't he, um, shoot the fucking crossbow? That's what I don't get. Okay. Um. Yeah. Y'all are annoying. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Give me a brain juice. You don't need it? You ain't shit. I mean, y'all clearly aren't using this brain juice, so... I don't see why I can't take it. Alright, that works out. At least I have plenty of gunpowder, so I can make this happen. No biggie. Make some more 
craft some more ammo, if you will. What's in here? I don't know. I just feel like I should look around outside before I go inside. Uh, it's customary. Yes. I believe it is. See? More of these Mobius barricades. It's making me think that we're going to get an item to get rid of them. That's just my theory. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I'm sure it will happen again. I'm sorry. They should have picked a different picture for the smoke powder. It looks like a steaming heaping turd. Like, I, I don't care for it. I don't like it at all. I don't approve. Like, it makes me nauseous. Okay, what's going on in here? I mean, I hope we get something to take those barricades down. Because then how else are we supposed to get in that building? Probably should let Kidman know what's going on. <sighs> I don't see why. Kidman, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What have you got for me? The good news is that I located O'Neill, and he was able to get me on the trail to find Lily. That's great. The bad news is that Union is literally falling apart around me. And it's mostly populated by corpses and monsters. Oh, and that psycho I told you about? The one with the powers he shouldn't have? He's got Lily. I'm getting ready to head into the Marrow, which you neglected to tell me about, to get to him. I'm sorry we didn't have time for a briefing before sending you in, but we didn't think it would be this bad. It's just as bad as Beacon in here. No, it's worse. My daughter wasn't stuck in Beacon. Okay, calm down. Maybe I can help you out. Can you give me any information on this person? Male, about five foot ten, black hair. He fancies himself as some sort of artist. That's not much to go on. Tell me something I don't know. I'm on my way to City Hall. I'll call you later. I'm just like, she likes to tout Mobius around as this big shady corporation that can do anything, but I'm like, but y'all didn't prepare for any of this? Y'all aren't that smart. Y'all are not that smart. Okay. Um, how much brain juice do we have? We have about 9,000. Oh, but I do want to go see, I want to look at the slides. I want to do that, so. We're going to look at the slides, and then I'm going to save, and we'll wrap this session up. It's going to be a little short, but that's just how it goes. I think starting off next session, uh, going into the marrow will be fun. Okay. Home engulfed in flames. Tragic fire kills child nanny. Police investigating. You still up, Kidman? No rest for the wicked. What's going on? I can't believe Lily is still alive. The fire. Lily wasn't killed in the fire. You know this now. Tell that to my brain. Tell that to the nightmares I've been having for years. Why did they take her? Out of all the little girls in the world, why mine? I can't answer that, Sebastian. Mobius took Lily long before I joined them. I know you don't believe in coincidences, but maybe you see a pattern because you want to. You know that some crimes just... happen. There's no real reason for it. Just a wrong person, at the wrong place, at the wrong time. No. I refuse to believe that. Regardless, the fire is a memory that you need to purge, Sebastian. It wasn't your fault that it happened. And you didn't lose Lily because of it. Try to remember that. Alright. Whatever you say, bitch. Still don't trust the hell. Aww. You are so good. Psst, 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 psst. Okay, where's the save in this bitch? Well, you know what? Actually, I'll go ahead and go back to the main place and then save. I know it doesn't really matter, but I'm like, this way we'll remember what we're doing. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and drink some of that coffee. Nice big cup of coffee. Yeah, I love it. It's so fun to watch Real Housewives of New Jersey just for the accents, especially Marge. Yes, I am a Marge supremacist. I love her. And as much as I love Teresa, on that show she's just fucking wackadoodle. 
Like, there's delusional, and then there's her. All right. Let's save. Um, we're just going to do a new slot. And on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this episode and the session here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.